so hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so in this tutorial video we are going to learn about css transition okay so css transition allow you to change the property value smoothly over a given duration okay if you give a duration like one second two second okay that's like the duration here then we are going to learn our properties like our transition transition delay transition duration transition property and transition timing function okay so let's create a transition effect okay so for create a transition effect you must specify two things okay the first thing is the csf property you want to add an effect to and the second one the duration of the effect if you want a five second of duration then you need to write down five seconds if you don't write any duration part okay if you don't specify any duration part then the transition will have no effect it's, they, it's gonna take as a because the default value as a zero okay if you don't specify the value okay so as you can see i already write down our h1 and p tag basic and this one is our div height width and background color this is our basic i write down here okay so now let's move forward to our transition okay so let's give them the transition here and give them the second year if you give them the height uh, or as a width i give them as a width here as a three second so it's gonna be effect as a as you can see this is not visible because we didn't give the over here if you move the if you want to move this transition you also need to give over okay so let's write down here over <coughs> sorry guys then curly bracket open and close and then write down your width whichever width you want i give them as a 400 pixel okay so let's see our output when i move my mouse over here as you can see it's gonna be take three seconds to over here if i give them as you can see this is how it looks like if i give them the one second then let's give as a one second then save as you can see it's gonna be speed up fast okay if you want to slow motion then you need to just adjust your here i give them as a five second okay as you can see it's gonna be take as a five second here so that is how it works here okay if you want to add a height here okay you can also do that here also so let's add a height here okay I give them as a height as a 400 pixel then it's not go as you can see but I also need to give as you can see the height is too fast because its default value as a zero that's why I didn't write here for your knowledge okay so let's write down here comma then let's write your height as a five second then save so as you can see it's gonna be take now five second here so that is how it works let's minimize 100 percent yeah as you can see when i move my mouse over here this is how it look like guys if you have any query write down in the comment section okay now let's move forward to our next topic transition uh, timing function okay so the transition timing function properly specify the speed of the curve the transition effect okay there are so uh, many uh, values property we are going to use here like is uh, linear is in and is in out okay so let's start with our as you can see let's open our this code and let's just clear this height right now let's give them three seconds okay now let's move forward to we are going to write our here let's open this one let's just copy this one let's just copy the at least this one then let's paste it then close now let's add id i give them id as a a okay so i'm gonna just copy this one 
we are going to take all the properties values which i told earlier as a is linear is in and is in and out okay we are going to use all the in one program okay so let's give them the id so we can specify it. so let's give them as a capital b capital c then capital d and capital e okay this is how it look like if you want don't want this one then you just plus write down first as a linear i'm going to explain here how linear it is got in all so don't worry guys let's just first write this one our is in is in out the remaining one is is out okay this is how is our this one so we are going to first learn how linear is so first start with our linear so at this one our linear so linear specify transition effect with the same speed from the start to end is going to be the same speed each ever is first to end okay now let's move forward to our is okay so is is a specified this uh, first starting is a slow okay the starting is slow then fast and then end slowly okay the in here the first one is slow second one is faster and third one is slow that is how our is works here now let's move forward to our is in okay so is in gonna be specified as a slow start okay is only slow start and is in is out okay is out you mean so is in out we are gonna so is specify the transition effect with a slow start and end this is a is in out so is gonna be specify transition effect as a slow start and end so let's start with our here our let's write down as a hashtag capital a then transition timing function okay now we are going to write it let's just copy this one and let's write down here linear now hashtag capital b then hashtag capital c copy paste hashtag d then how many we write a b c d e okay so let's take this yeah let's write down our second one is is in okay third one fourth one is is out and last one is our is in out okay this is we transition timing function we write here okay so let's save and let's see your output as you can see when i move my mouse over here this is our first our d hover as you can see this is our d hover now we are going to use our linear d a as you can see that is how our linear works here okay let's see so linear gonna be the same speed from start to end as you can see is the same speed as start now let's move forward to our second point is is gonna be st start with the slow then faster then slow as you can see slow and then faster then slow as you can see that this is slow faster then slow faster slow this is our is works here guys now let's move forward to our is in as you can see specify with a slow start slow start okay that is how it works and this is our is out and this is our is in out 
is going to be slow start and end. So that is how our transition timing function was here, guys. Now let's move forward to our new topic: delay the transition effect. Okay. So let's write down our code. So let's write down. We just need to write down for delay the transition delay two seconds. Okay. So let's give them the new transition delay delay as a let's give them as a two second and save as you can see it's gonna take the two second to delay here plus it's gonna be end on the two second delay here as you can see let's see that is how it works if i give one second let's give them as a one second then save as you can see let's give them as a 0 0.5 half second then this is how it works guys delay the transition effect okay so now let's use the transition plus transforms okay let's use both okay so let's write down let's clear this one let's write down transition which has a I give them as a three second then let's give them height as a three second then comma now we are gonna write transform as a one second then save this is how it looks like guys okay if you want to rotate this you can also do that so for rotate you need to write down here in hover transform which i already told we are going to use transition plus transforms okay so let's write down rotate at uh, 150 degree let's take this as a 150 degree as you can see not perfectly clear that's why it's going to happen because I did in the end plus here as you can see if I do here then it's going to computer not can access the particular area here that's why but if I do here then it's going to be in the 150 degree direction if you want this in 90 degree you can also do that let's just give the 90 degree so that is how it work guys okay now let's add more transaction examples here okay so we are going to use all the transaction so let's open let's just clear this one we don't need it right now And save. Let's see. This is how it looks like. It didn't understand, as you can see. That is how it works. Now, let's move forward to our transition example. We are going to add all the transition duration, timing function, delay in all one. Okay. So. As you can see, I have already write down a background color as a yellow and let's write down transition property. Transition property as a width. Okay. Now let's give them the duration. Duration I give them as a 3 second. Now let's add our. This is our. We don't need to write down here our this one. Let's give this clear. Now let's add our transition. 
टाइमिंग फंक्शन एज अ लीनियर डैन सेव ओके दिस इज अवर डी week. I don't need to write down here as a duration here width because we already give the transition property as a width. Okay, guys. So let's give them here also one second the duration. Then it's going to be faster. So that is how it works. Or you can also use the short uh, short hand property transition if you want to use. So let's use our short hand uh, property transition. So we are going to just change. Let's just clear this one. Let's write transition. I give them as a width as a three second and linear as a two second. Then save and let's see your output. As you can see, you can also use. The sort and property. If you want this in the sort method, okay, which we write is still too long. That's why. So that is for all today, guys. If you have any query, write down in the comment section. You can also use this transition in the previous video of a 2D and 3D. Okay, you can do. Uh, you if you write this code, then it's gonna be rotate and uh, and all. Okay, you can also use this transition. Okay. That's for the all today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also write down your email ID in the comment section for the source code. Okay, bye.